Hey there YouTube, this is Jean with CryptoPigs. First, I wanted to say thanks to all my new subscribers and everyone who's been watching my videos. Also, I wanted to let you know that you can feel free to message me or comment if you have any questions or suggestions. I read all of them, especially the private messages. With that being said, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. So let's get going on our PTMGS analysis. So today's analysis is on a coin that has been increasing in value lately and was the talk of town back in August, Bitcoin Cash, which is also a direct competitor to Bitcoin. Before we get started, let's make sure we understand what PTMGS stands for. It's the problems they solve, the project idea, the potential for generating revenue, the team, the marketing, the market cap, the short slash long-term goals of the project, and of course, the summary slash stars. So what problems is Bitcoin Cash trying to solve? They're trying to fix the Bitcoin block size limits of only one megabytes or about three transactions per second. And because of these constraints, fees increased and Bitcoin became unreliable with some users unable to confirm their transactions. So Bitcoin Cash is project idea. To understand Bitcoin Cash, we kind of need to understand Bitcoin first. And a quick and easy definition is a protocol that delivers data in defined quantities that are then stored in a sequence on a distributed set of global computers. So what is Bitcoin Cash? It's a fork of the Bitcoin blockchain ledger with upgraded rules, which allow it to grow and scale. It's a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash for the internet that is fully decentralized with no central bank and doesn't require any trusted third parties to operate. Their transaction use a new signature hashing algorithm indicated by the flag SIG hash underscore fork ID. These signatures are not valid on the Bitcoin legacy network, preventing Bitcoin cash transactions from being replayed on Bitcoin blockchain and vice versa. One of the most important features of Bitcoin cash is the increase in the block size limit from one megabyte to eight megabytes, while also adjusting the difficulty every six blocks compared to 2016 blocks as with Bitcoin, which is adjustable. This allows for ample capacity for everyone's transaction, lower fees and fast confirmations. Now the potential for generating revenue, fairly basic, exactly like Bitcoin, where the primary use of the coin is for electronic currency. You can also mine this coin. So the team, which is one of the most important aspects of the analysis, is truly unique when it comes to Bitcoin Cash. Their website says there is no single development team for Bitcoin Cash, but they have multiple independent teams of developers. At the bottom picture, it shows the five teams that are currently working on the coin. We have Bitcoin ABC, Unlimited, Enchain, XT, and Classic. I was only able to find information for Unlimited. So for the Bitcoin Unlimited team, it's fairly large, so I'm just going to talk about the stars and superstars. We begin with Andrew Stone. He's their lead developer, and he produced the game development software Game Maker, and also produced hardware and software that was sold and used in BMW and Rolls Royce. Obvious superstar there. Then Andrea hopefully I'm saying that right, has the title key developer. He gets a start for 16 years of software developer experience. Roger Ver, who they have as a BU member, he is the CEO of Bitcoin.com and advisor to many big companies in the blockchain space. Superstar there, in my opinion. Then we have Dr. Christopher Wilmer, who is their university liaison, has his own book called Bitcoin for the Befuddled and also started the world's first academic journal for Bitcoin slash cryptocurrency related research called Ledger. Has much more impressive things about him, but for the sake of time, I'm going to let you check them out if you're interested. But to me, he's an obvious superstar. Then Hiapo Yang, he's a BU member. He's a founder and CEO of Via BTC, one of the largest and most advanced mining pools globally. Also has two years experience as a program at Tencent, again, obvious superstar. Then we finally have Jerry Chan. He is their strategist, obvious superstar with 14 years of total experience working at Goldman Sachs and JP Morgan. Now for their marketing, we have their Twitter, which is super active with announcements, updates, and news. As you can see, fairly active, November 6th, 10 hours ago, November 6th, November 4th, November 4th. So. It's good to see that they are posting announcements, news updates on their Twitter. Then their Telegram is fairly active with the community. Facebook, again, active with announcements, updates, and news. They have no YouTube. And their Reddit is super active 
the community is definitely engaged there. Next, we have their competition. Probably the most important part of this analysis for this coin in particular. Bitcoin Cash's competition, we have Bitcoin and Segwit2x. I created a little chart for you to compare these three coins. And as you can see, there's only a few differences, but they're actually fairly significant. One of the most important parts, in my opinion, is the replay protection, which neither Bitcoin Cash or Segwit will have. Now for their market cap, we're looking at about $10 billion, currently around $617 or 0.08 Bitcoin. Can't really measure in sats here just because the price is so high. The all-time high was around $915 or 0.22 Bitcoin, which was on August 19th. We got 16.76 million circulating supply, 21 million total supply. The volume in the last 24 hours is sitting around $1 billion. It was $4.2 billion on August 19th. The exchange is pretty much on every single exchange. My favorite, which is quickly surpassing Bitrix, is Binance. Then we get Bitrix and then Poloniex. So for the short slash long-term goals of Bitcoin Cash, I couldn't find any roadmap whatsoever, which makes sense to me since there's so many teams working on the project. I did find on their site that on November 13th, they will have a network upgrade. So at least one short-term goal and long-term goal, I would say it's obvious to surpass Bitcoin and become the number one used electronic currency. So to summarize it all up, Bitcoin Cash seems to be a very interesting project with everything being super similar to Bitcoin with a few key upgrades. Having five teams work on the project is pretty great to know with the Bitcoin Unlimited team which is the only team I could find, having a bunch of superstars. I also know several people discussing how Bitcoin Cash could see some significant movement before the fork, especially with their upgrade coming on the 13th of this month. It will be interesting to see what happens with Bitcoin, Segwit, and Bitcoin Cash. Another is interesting part of Bitcoin Cash is that they seem to be under the radar, and not many people discuss this. Yet, the coin is trading around $1 billion daily. So it's obvious that it's big somewhere. What are your thoughts on Bitcoin Cash? Do you think it has any chance at all to surpass Bitcoin? Well, with that being said, let's get on to the star section of my analysis. I'm giving Bitcoin Cash four and a half stars. Since it seems to have some great teams working on it, it's exactly like Bitcoin, except it makes it quicker and less expensive. There are a few negatives, but it really depends on what community you're asking therefore i still think it's a four and a half star coin i'm also kind of disappointed they lacked a roadmap but again it was expected well let me know what you think of bitcoin cash what rating would you have given it and remember to research and invest wisely make sure you click that like and subscribe button thanks again and i'll see you next time